So last night, I was watching a Dateline, and at the end of it, it has the news. Earlier, we had heard that it was going to rain and we're going to have some wind this weekend. So when I was watching the, the snippet of the news, it talked about how we we're going to have like 40 mile per hour winds on Saturday and like rain and like flash flooding and all that, which again, we had kind of heard that earlier. So I saw the bar about it or whatever. Then I realized that the dateline I was watching was from like two weeks ago. Y'all, we were having battles of our top songs on Spotify because the list came out this week. So that's why Greatest Showman's on right now. And not Chris's music. Yeah, look where we are. We actually have one here. That's yeah, so we're waiting for our turn at the tree. Like everywhere, it's like right when you walk in. Oh, fire. Look, they got a cute little desk over there. Oh my god, that is the cutest thing ever. Mm hmm. Brian got some free beef jerky, but ugh. Their, um, gingerbread house. Oh, wow. I had a gingerbread cookie tree. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. I like being creative. Oh, you can get your cookie exchange kit. Who was up getting these for Easter? The Easter bunnies? I know you don't like milk chocolate. But. Well, no, the kit I did, but yeah, I'd eat like the ear and then I was done. It was way too much. I do like this though. Mm. Little reindeers. This is really cool. The lantern. Yes, I do like the lantern. There's one over there of Santa with the deer. Oh, yeah. I don't like Santa. I mean. They don't sit out. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it that is. is I'm trying to tell Byron into getting the uh, lantern. lantern. And he's like, all right, well, if you get it, then I'm going to get the chocolate, yeah, reindeer. chocolate reindeer. He's like, you like how I'm bargaining for with you with something like worth like three dollars three dollars chocolate reindeer let's do it all right they do it good they put all their christmas stuff over here but that kind of makes me a little nervous that santa land ain't gonna be that cool it's gonna be like florida i feel like first those are really cute but second that's that's their santa land god that makes me sad we were really i guess spoiled by the bass at discover mills sad it's okay Come here. We'll get you your lantern and you'll be all right. Ooh, do you want some stuffed puff cinnamon toast crunch? I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Sounded good for a minute. We even stopped by the fish. But there's not that many. I'm really, really disappointed in this bass. It's just not the same as it used to be. Well, I mean, it's Again, also... You dig it's, it's cute. But are we over the moon about it? No, apparently I'm supposed to turn it on, but it doesn't. Mm -hmm. Also, it's the only one and it doesn't turn on. Yeah, so that always makes me a little weird. That already says the negative in my Yeah. Mind. I got nothing's moved <laughs> since funny. you did it. This reminds me of one of those stores that has that weird candy my mom likes. I can't think of it. Oh, it this always looks good. It Old does. School, yes. Bar, yeah. God, it's the purple one. It's called like Jewels or. I forgot what they call it. Yeah. Oh my God, look at that. Oh my God. I love those lights. So, bass might suck at Christmas now, but God, this candy that they have here is on point. Mm. By the way, Byron wants us to take this hill. I didn't want to take this hill. <laughs> it feels like pain. Yay, trolley train! Oh, that's cute. That's super cute. All the cars behind it. Byron put Christmas music on my thing, so I'm ignoring it. Uh, <laughs> oh, this, there's a cafe! That's where that was. Yes, so we came, we came to Antique Row, which, that's their Christmas tree? A couple we did, shops have some Christmas stuff in there. Yeah. yeah, we came to Antique Row, I think it was last year? Was last for year. your birthday, around your birthday? Yes, that's right, it was around my birthday. And that was the, the place where I really had to go to the bathroom, yes. but somebody was in the, the toilet for a long time. But we thought you had to order first. Yeah. And so we were waiting to order, and she was like, oh, I need to go to the bathroom. I'm like, oh, I should have just asked. What is going on over there? Uh, don't know. It's like a play or something. I don't even know where I'm going anymore. That's a lot of people. Cute bath. But this is probably the furthest I've ever walked for a bathroom. Like, there's this room. This place looks straight out of one of my spooked in Seattle stories. Because, like, you have to walk all the way back here from, like, up there. See, there's Byron. Oh my god, okay, I hear, I hear tapping noises. I gotta go. This little Christmas place. We actually came here. Oh, this is Byron. It's actually where I got that really good cheese danish. 
I think it was for my name change anniversary this year. We came here. They had an amazing Danish. Today they have this. Blue key, I think it's from Costco. I don't remember last time I had just a straight up one. It's a good taste. Mmm. Right? A good buttery taste. That was good. Actually, you know what? In a weird way, I thought that would be good. Mm -hmm. White mocha and vanilla latte. It's called a frosty drink. The Alvarin just randomly broke out. It's the greatest show. It's number two on my list, apparently. I did play one song more than I played that song, which was again, actually, I forget what it was last year. I was looking up to see what my biggest song was last year. I feel like it had to be that one. Right? What, Head Above Water again? No. Because those are all, I feel like that's always been number one and two. Mm -hmm. Darn's looking for a book. Yeah. Because he finished a book. And now he's crying because he has to wait to rent the book. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on, on a Kendall. List. He's one of those Kendall people. Sorry, I threw up my mouth a little bit. I meant to say threw up my mask. <laughs> Y'all, I 100% forgot that Brooklyn was playing the magic. And I came out here, I sat down, and I'm watching the game on mute because Brian was talking to his mom. And Joe Ingalls was on. And I'm like, why is Joe Ingalls here? Mm. My smokers look like I owe him money. Oh, now he's coming to collect. Joe Ingalls got a technical, and he had some choice words that we heard perfectly for the ref. <laughs> Look guys, we have more Christmas than Bass does. <laughs> the Nets Magic game was like a blowout, which was crazy because Magic is in like, they said second place? They're on a winning streak too. Last time I saw it, it was like 20, I think. Barn had on the Hawks versus the Bucks. 75 so they're closing. Okay, they're closing it up. Seth is starting. I mean, it's on the opposite team, but Seth is starting. Because Seth is starting, there's no Kyrie tonight. So that is good. I will take that any day. Still don't know where Green is, though. I, a, Green is a shooting guard, the same as, um, what you call it? Curry? Oh, this is weird. Josh Green is the first starter for the power small forward. But he's the fifth in line for shooting guard, so he can move between the two positions. That's so weird. I don't know if we actually said it, but Green's out. All right, so not that we need any more of a story of this dog being a brat. So last night, I was at my desk writing my uh, story where so Byron was bringing me the blanket, and Tiffany and I had been laying on it. He legit got up, followed Byron, and then like jumped up to the blanket. This dog is obsessed, as you can see. Oh, Seth is back. The trailblazers are about to start, and we are quickly becoming trailblazer fans, not just Thibel Duop fans. They've been they've been doing really good lately, like as a team. They're fun to watch. It's been about like a two three point game for the majority of it. I don't think anyone's really gone on like big runs between them or the Bucks. I think it's been pretty tight. I think the largest lead was probably like an eight point lead by the Bucks at one point. Trailblazers, good game. Tie or super like close. The Hawks are down right now by five with like four minutes left. Uh, last time we checked, OKC was killing the Mavs. Let's see what happened. Now that you said something. Oh, now they said something to be like Mavs up by fifty. No. Oh. <laughs> 65-45, okay, see, they're up by 20. Y'all, look what Byron did yesterday. Oh, I got something. Broke yeah. that. Shh, we're talking about how you broke the lights. No, that was a ghost. I forgot what we were talking about, but I'm like, um... <laughs> yeah, so... Because you had said something immediately, and I joked about how, like, without going into details, like, uh, are you sure X didn't like what you said about da 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 or something like that? Well, it'll be my grandma. We all know that my grandma would be popping up time yeah. to time, moving photos. We said something that your grandma may not have. But it was, it was, it just fell, so. It was the perfect timing for it. It was just We saw the Fallout TV show series trailer. It looked no. good. No, there's big bugs in it. This, the, they got the rat roaches and stuff. They got all the little weird... I like the dog eating the rat roach, though. That was cute. Yeah, yeah, they got dog meat in it, which is cool. Nothing better happen to dog meat. meat. No, I like that they had the little robot guy. I always like the robot guy. It looks really good and promising. Knock on wood, most video game adaptation shows are terrible, except for The Last of Us. Hopefully it goes that route and it becomes like a mainstream thing, but I'm excited. I definitely want that bike. 110% I want that bike. Y'all see this right now? Just, just no space. 
Aaron's mad because the Mavs didn't show what was in their gift boxes. These people buy gift boxes. I'm like, they're rally boxes, and then they didn't show what was in them. No, not one of those people that a row even attempted to open it. Did I tell y'all it's going to be like 50 degrees, like 57 degrees this week? I'm talking about 50 degrees one more time. Last year on the first, we hit snow. Hey, I just thought of it. What? My mom's candy. What about it? Violets. I know we've tried those candies on here before, so I don't know if you guys remember them, but they're like the nastiest candies ever. My mom loves them though, and you can find them at like random stores. Maps have caught up, it's 111 to 111. Like when we left, they were down by like eight. Five minutes left and they're fourth. That was a crazy ending yeah. to that game. The OKC ended up winning 126 to 120, but Seth almost well, almost could have made a beautiful, like, falling out of bounds shot, but it banged off. Aw, I thought we got a tag. He showed up for the referees very, very rudely. That was right. He Apparently, waved at him or whatever. It's annoying. Even though now it's like, I don't know. If you're going to call it, you got to call it for everybody. Ah, uh, 39 seconds left. Tie game. Yeah, they were trailing hard the whole game. And they climb slowly. That defense, back to back dunks, just slams on Kessler. It's been a game, man. Trailblazers. They they They're really leave their, their hearts in it on that floor. To watch. Oh my god, that ending. I mean, it's not over yet. We have to go to overtime now. Yes, that defensive. Oh my goodness. So we ended up losing by five. Which that overtime went super quick. It's only five minutes, so of course it was super quick, but. It was, uh, it was back and forth, back and forth, and then like the last like minute and a half, they just ran away with it, and we didn't get a bunch of calls that we should have got. Oh so. yeah, we should have got some calls for sure. Like especially on Sharp, there's a bunch of fouls that just did not get called. So whatever. So I forgot to rinse the hair. Oh, look how her proud grandma is of herself. Uh, good for you, grandma. Good job, Lee. Another victory for Lee in Nevada. Look at this little nice little bonus picture here. With so, Montana in the background, like, what's going on? I didn't know anything. We just much. Horses are cute in this game. They did a good job. They are horses. super cute. Look at these two. Was Eve even there? No. Look, Sage is romantic romanticizing them. <laughs> no, no, girl. No, no, Madison. Look at this guy's pants. Oh, okay, he's a celebrity, but look at his outfit. A couple tries. We did lower the number because the other two got pregnant way too easy. And they actually had to try for a baby because they're married, so. She leaves stains. Get one She's pregnant. Oh, Isn't that weird? <laughs> Y'all, these two are so. <laughs> it is always them two together, but not with Cal. Yeah, Cal's like, I'm leaving our daughter alone. Uh, Megan wasn't having fun. So Byron's like, send her for a run or whatever, and we'll just stay home with the baby. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to call Noah because through the baby, you can ask for like food or sleep or changing. And that's always like that thing I wish they had in the game that you could like have grandparents come over and actually interact with the kids and stuff. So that was neat. I thought that was really cool. That yes! Sir. <laughs> this man just took... Wait, oh. what? I don't think that's actually mine. No, put an inventory. Hurry up. That uh, is hilarious. That is so annoying. He just took it right out of our oven. I hope everyone had a good Saturday. I know Bass was a little bit of a eh, but I'm glad we checked it out. I told Byron, I was like, if we had waited another year, I feel like we would have been like, kind of still daydreaming about it, I guess. We'll see you guys tomorrow.